Here are the five for the Lakers. LeBron is the three with Davis in at the four. Malik Monk is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Howard in at the five. And for Milwaukee, the star front court, Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Drew Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, Grant, these teams boast quality depth. As a starter, what's it like having a great bench behind you? Having depth in the NBA is everything. First of all, having a great bench, you have productive practices where you continue to push each other throughout the season. But most importantly, the season, the wear and tear as a result of 82 games, having a bench can help you win games and save you uh, and only enhance your efforts and your performance throughout the season. So uh, teams that have depth have a chance for great success. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. And when you think of Howard, defense and rebounding immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. It's Middleton on the wing. Anadokupo finds Middleton. Six on the shot clock. Back to Anadokupo. Shoots over Davis. Monk grabs the miss. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. You know, Malik Monk was drafted a few picks ahead of notable talents like Donovan Mitchell and Bam Adebayo. But Malik's journey has been a little different, as is the case with every young player coming into the league. You know, he didn't burst onto the scene, as many scouts have predicted, but I like the fact that this young man has showed continual improvement. Now here's Westbrook. The shot. And there's James on the assist by Westbrook. James has gotten his second bucket on the night. I love how quick he makes decisions. I mean, if a shot is there for him, LeBron is not going to think twice or hesitate. He'll let it fly. Back to Middleton. Rebounded by LeBron. You know, Clark, last year, getting more minutes after the Kimball Walker trade, Monk was much more efficient at the offensive end. Could not agree with you more, B.A. He shot fewer threes. That always helps efficiency. And then used his athleticism to do more work closer to the basket. He hit over 40% from the field in, for the first time in his career now. So good progress for him. And he also made more of an impact on the glass. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Boy, LeBron's taking a lot of punishment over the years. For him, just part of the game. Shooting two. That free throw, good from James. You look at LeBron James, he's truly a remarkable talent. And every season he seems to add something else to his game. It's been fun watching him, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to see him at this level. He's perfect from the line this time. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Left side, DiVincenzo. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And again, another missed shot. The Lakers have gone three of four to get things going. Westbrook outside. James finds Davis. Over on it, Kumpo. The Lakers with another miss. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Middleton from the outside. Connects from downtown. Well, there's a good reason this guy shoots as many threes as he does. Chris Middleton is a knockdown three-point shooter. 
Goes up at the elbow. Lopez with the steal. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. For Milwaukee, they've gone just one of six to begin the game. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Outside Holiday. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shots. I mean, shot hungry is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has mid-range and long distance. Now, here is James. He has six. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. On to Kumpo with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Good chance here for DiVincenzo. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. Boy, I love the unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open onto Takumpo, make sure you get the ball. Out to the wing from behind the arc. And the basket by Monk. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. The Bucks trail. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Ooh, Giannis dunks it home. And I tell you, it's ridiculous how much space Ante de Kumpo covers in just two strides. I mean, the way he handles himself going to the basket, man, it is one sight to see. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. A minute 42 left to play in the first. And so the ball out of bounds. Ana de Cuplo touched it last. And the Lakers with some changes. Anthony's checked in for Howard. And none is subbed in for Westbrook. Los Angeles has gone two of three from three-point land so far. On the wing, Davis. Portis with the steal. Outside, DiVincenzo. It's stolen by James. Here's none. Offline with a three. The Bucks have gone four of nine in this one so far. Left side, Holiday. From downtown... The shot, no good. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Outside Davis. Let's go with a three. He's now one for two with that bucket. You know, it's been documented how hard Davis has worked on his perimeter shot. There, you see the results. Portis outside. Pass to Middleton. Three-pointer. Rebound, Anthony Davis. It's hard not to want payback when you give up a three at the other end, but it can force you to rush things. Gets an open look and hits it. Davis has got five. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Now here's Portis. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And the basket by Holiday. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Here's James. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. One shot. We've got 13 seconds left in the opening quarter. Now on to Kumpo. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. 
Shot's good. And Antetokounmpo is, is just one. fearless. I mean, hit him, knock him around. Really doesn't phase him. Doesn't matter. I mean, this guy is determined to get the job done. And he does. And there's James from the arc. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Selfishness puts defenders in no-win situations. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second-chance touches. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Giannis Antetokounmpo is out there with Bobby Portis. Then there's Pat Connaughton. Then there's Drew Holiday. And it's Allen in at the shooting guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Grant, you were an exceptional ball handler in your day. How about now? Who's the best scorer off the bounce in this league? You know, B.A., you would give me that tough question. I mean, that's <laughs> with all the great players in this league who are all very capable off the bounce. Oh, I don't know. I, I probably would have to go with James Harden. I mean, his ability on the perimeter, handling the basketball, step back three pointers. And then, of course, he's so good and crafty with the ball, getting to the basket, drawing fouls. You know what? The MVP of the league in years past, I have to say it's James Harden. I'm just going to throw in LeBron James on you for a moment. And maybe a, a little hint of Luka Magic as well. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good, too. That's fair. <laughs> You know, at six foot eight, with the ball skills that James has, he handles it like a guard. He can get wherever he wants to off the dribble. Here's Connaughton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Portis. And the box hit again from deep. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Holiday against Westbrook. And a nice finish on the layup. Holiday's got five points now in the quarter. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. Holiday's been in the league for roughly a decade now. And throughout, he's been reliable and he's been consistent. Yeah, B.A., his scoring average has gone up a little over time. But you look at almost every other category. Assist, rebound, steals, shooting percentages. You know what Holiday is going to give you year in and year out. Here's Westbrook. That one goes. Now he's one for two. The defense all over Westbrook there, but he's crafty. He's slick, and he was focused on that shot. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Rebound by the Lakers. They've led by as many as 11. Inside. Portis with the steal. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Oh, deflected. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Portis outside. Now here's Allen. Puts up a three. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Lakers the other way. James up top. Davis from long range. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adenakumpo has got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Holiday. And he's going for the lob. Portis, the pass to Adenakumpo. Plenty of space. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got four rebounds now. Westbrook finds James. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the Bucks with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Middleton comes in for Connaughton. And it's Hill in for Holiday. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. You know, every basket's a big one in a tight game. And he's not about to give the offense anything. A 
Ronald de Kumpo against Davis. Over Ronald de Kumpo. Outside for Davis. Outside none. Just five to shoot. Here's Ariza. Pass to Davis. Over on to Kumpo. Here's Ellington. Left side Davis. Over on to Kumpo. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Allen. Milwaukee has gone three of six from deep so far. Now here's Hill. None defends. Middleton outside. Tries to snap the cold streak. Howard grabs the miss. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. To the wing on the left. The three ball. Ariza, good. Ariza's got himself on the board with a three there. And Ariza has great confidence in his shot. A dynamite catch and shoot player. Outside, DiVincenzo. Lopez passes to Anadokounmpo from deep three-point range. The Lakers with a rebound. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Now here's Lopez. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. That one's good for two. He is so tough to deal with inside. Lopez just too big and too skilled. Here's Ellington. Pass to Ariza. Right side, none. Here's the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Anacupo's got rebound number eight now. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Now Middleton. And a great assist by Anacupo. And that one goes in. And now just a three-point Laker lead. Outside none. Overhill. Oh, he beats the buzzer just in time. Shit all here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And so in the game for Los Angeles, LeBron is the three with Davis in at the four. Malik Monk is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Howard in at the five. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. James, outside, to the middle. Here's Davis. Good D by Anadokounmpo. Great contest down low. Allowing no easy hoops is a winning approach. This for the time! LeBron with the rebound. James has got six rebounds now in the game. Westbrook outside. Beyond the arc. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists now in this one. The Bucks trail. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Well, the Lakers shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. And this last summer, Giannis Antetokounmpo signed an extension to remain in Milwaukee, Grant. Yeah, and it seems like he doesn't really need the flash and glamour of the big markets. If anything, it's almost like it's a distraction to him. His focus will always be between the lines. Yep, count it. Well, we know what a skilled passer Westbrook is, but you still got to appreciate that dime there. Very impressive. Pass to Middleton. 19-footer. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Monk. DiVincenzo covering. Now, here is James. And stolen by Middleton. Over James. 
pass to Middleton. The shot, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. They've led by as many as 11. James passes to Howard. Over Middleton. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Sensational at hitting the glass. Howard has fantastic timing when he goes after those rebounds. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis comes in for Lopez. And it's Allen in for DiVincenzo. The Lakers also with a sub. Anthony's checked in. Well, Grant, when you joined Orlando, there was a very real possibility of forming a super team. Do you ever wonder what might have been? Oh, B.A., I wonder all the time. You had a great young player in Tracy McGrady emerging into a star. If I could have just stayed healthy at a time in the Eastern Conference when it was really wide open, I think all the time what could have been, but unfortunately it never happened because of that persistent ankle injury. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The B.A., it's incredible. How often do you see a player come off of an MVP season and get even better? Last year, Giannis Antetokounmpo setting career highs in his rate of scoring, rebounds, and assists. And so Antetokounmpo nails both of them. And Grant, maybe the most important area of growth for Giannis is his perimeter shooting. I agree, B.A. Although he's doubled his career rate of three-point attempts while making over 30%, there's obviously still room for improvement. But we all can see his confidence is growing. And once he figures that out, that's trouble for the rest of the league. The Lakers making a switch here. Bazemore's checked in. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Here's James. Oh, my goodness! Disrespectful. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. Middleton from the outside. Rebound, the Lakers. Westbrook's got four rebounds in the game. With the drive. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. Westbrook is a master at drawing fouls, and he's got a lot of different ways that he can put that kind of pressure on the defense. And he can't get the first one. Hey, you can't diminish Westbrook's triple-doubles, but just as important to me are the intangibles. His passion, his tenacity, his competitive spirit and drive. I mean, that infects the whole team in a positive way. And the second free throw is good. The Bucks have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. against Westbrook. The shot by Holiday, no good. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Pass to Middleton. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Here's Jake. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, big finish. Man. 
Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. Westbrook outside, pass to James. And there's a minute 45 left in the third. From the arc. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists now tonight. So special and exciting to watch greatness. LeBron James tonight playing at the highest level. Allen with it. Back to Anadokounmpo. James against Middleton. The shot by James, no good. Milwaukee has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in 10 attempts. Tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his half. I and mean, he's getting to his spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround for him. Here's Westbrook. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Westbrook's got eight points. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact. So he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. Outside Holiday, pass to Portis. Now here's Allen. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Hits a three-pointer. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Anthony in the post. On to Kumpo covering. Fades. The rebound by the Bucks. Most nights, this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Alley-oop up top, hammer at home. How about the springs of this guy, Anta Takumpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. And there's James from the arc. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. You can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Middleton outside. From deep. The Bucks rebound. There's the three. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. Outside none. James outside. And they waste no time getting those three points back. James has got 24 points. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Yep, that one goes. Yeah, that was just a fantastic decision from Anadokounmpo. He's lethal in pick and roll situations, clearly. Davis with it. Left side, none. Now James. Throws it up high. And Davis slams it home. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Middleton outside. The floater. And that'll be Milwaukee's ball as it goes out of bounds. Bucks able to keep the possession. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. Putting that stanchion to the test. The big fella banging it down. James against Middleton. Pass to Ellington to the right side. None finds Davis. Over on it Kumpo. Clock at four. The kick out to none. Let's it go from deep. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got five assists in the game. Now 
Now here's Hill. None defends. Here's Ana Nakumpo. And count it. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Second shot opportunity and Howard with the lay-in. There's an example of that strength that Dwight Howard possesses. I love seeing him fight through contact. Outside Holiday. A minute 37 left in the final quarter. Anadokounmpo for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. James finds Howard. Back to James. Howard, the screen. James passes to Howard. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Nice job that time using that strong body of his inside. Once Howard has positioning, I think you got to wrap him up. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. For Milwaukee, they've gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Anadokounmpo with it. Picked up by James. And it's in there. And Anadokounmpo is an excellent penetrator. Moves as a man much smaller would. I mean, this guy's 7 feet tall with that kind of agility. Just finds ways to knife inside the lane and finish through contact. Really impressive. Here's Davis. Pass to Westbrook. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Three on the clock. Lopez with the steal. And the Bucks call time here. They're trailing by three. There's 42 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. There's 42 seconds left in the game. And that one's good. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one-two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. To the wing, right side. Back to James. Over Middleton. Money! Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron Time right out. now. Time out. Milwaukee calls Started. timeout. They're losing by three. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And Davis with the block. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, just a must foul situation to stop the clock. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. The energy that Monk brings, I love it. I mean, when he's out on the floor, he's giving you everything he has.
And so both free throws good. And it's a five-point game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. And stolen by Anadokupo. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. The three is up. That one is off. So we see the Lakers get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.